Ever wondered how your kidneys keep your body in balance? Meet the nephron, the kidney's microscopic workhorse. The nephron is the fundamental unit of the kidney responsible for filtering blood and producing urine. The nephron consists of three main components, the renal corpuscle, renal tubules, and blood vessels. Let's take a closer look. The renal corpuscle is where it all begins, with a network of capillaries encased in Bowman's capsule. Here, blood filtration takes place, initiating the journey of urine formation. Next, we have the renal tubules, comprising various segments like the proximal convoluted tubules, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubules, and the collecting duct. These tubules play a critical role in reabsorbing essential substances like water and electrolytes, while disposing of waste products. Finally, we have the blood vessels, including afferent arterioles, efferent arterioles, and peritubular capillaries. They ensure a continuous exchange of nutrients and waste products, providing essential support to the nephron. Through the collaboration of renal corpuscle, renal tubules, and blood vessels, the nephron maintains bodily homeostasis, ensuring optimal functioning. Now let's discuss its function in detail. Below are the stages of nephron function. The first stage is filtration occurring in the glomerulus, a network of capillaries surrounded by Bowman's capsule. Blood enters the glomerulus through the afferent arteriole and leaves via the efferent arteriole. Blood pressure forces water, ions, and small molecules, such as glucose, amino acids, urea, and ions, out of the capillaries and into the Bowman's capsule, forming the filtrate. Large molecules such as proteins and blood cells remain in the blood due to their size and charge, and they are not filtered into the Bowman's capsule. Next is reabsorption. The filtrate moves into the renal tubule, which consists of the proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, and collecting duct. Reabsorption begins primarily in the proximal convoluted tubule, where substances needed by the body, such as glucose, amino acids, water, and ions, are actively transported back into the blood through the walls of the tubule. This process maintains the body's homeostasis by reabsorbing essential substances and regulating electrolyte balance. Secretion. Secretion involves the transfer of substances from the blood into the renal tubule to be excreted in urine. This occurs mainly in the distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct, where hydrogen ions, potassium ions, and certain drugs are actively transported from the blood into the tubule. Secretion helps in maintaining the body's acid-base balance and eliminating waste products and excess ions. Then comes concentration. The loop of Henle plays a crucial role in creating a concentration gradient in the kidney medulla. As the filtrate moves through the descending limb of the loop of Henle, water is reabsorbed into the surrounding interstitial fluid, making the filtrate more concentrated. In the ascending limb, sodium and chloride ions are actively pumped out of the tubule, further concentrating the filtrate. This concentration gradient allows for the reabsorption of water in the collecting duct, producing concentrated urine and conserving water in the body. The final urine, containing waste products, excess ions, and water not reabsorbed, is drained into the renal pelvis and then into the ureter, eventually reaching the bladder for storage and eventual elimination through urination. In, In summary, the stages of nephron function encompass filtration, reabsorption, secretion, concentration, and excretion. Together, they play a crucial role in maintaining homeostasis and eliminating waste from the body. Did you enjoy this fascinating exploration? If so, show some love by hitting the like button, sharing it with your friends, 
and subscribing to our channel. We appreciate your support and thanks for watching.